we are facing one of the most challenging and I would say awkward situations of the century. So far, COVID-19 has infected more than 1.3 million people and has killed more than 75,000 people worldwide. The death toll in Greece is so far 79 people, most of which had severe comorbidities and the mean age of 70 years. The number of people died from coronavirus in Greece is rather low compared to other European countries, and this is a result of the prompt, strict, and quite effective measurements taken by the Greek government. Measurements like self-isolation and early shutdown of the schools and shutdowns of the commercial stores were applied before we even had a single death. These actions were proven to be crucial for the deterioration of the spread of the rate of the virus in the country. This slowdown of the spread of the infection has given the required space in the public health care system to manage effectively the cases requiring hospitalization or even incubation in the ICU. Coronavirus spread in Greece led the physicians to further develop their digital skills and at the same time to teach the patients how to use the technology to keep in track. So we performed visits based on online communication platforms to do remote consultation to our patients. We asked them to upload data from glucose meters, sensors or pumps and we worked together in order to come up with a glucose management plan. Some smart applications available in the market enable our patients to increase their self-management skills, enabling also the remote consultation and medical coaching. Patients with diabetes, especially the ones that have micro or macrovascular complications, are more prone to get seriously ill in case they are infected with coronavirus. Special care, including home isolation, is crucial for these people. We need to make sure that our patients have adequate medical supplies, including needles, pins, and glucose strips or sensors. Our patients also must postpone any upcoming follow-up visit in the clinic unless there is an emergency. Especially visits planned just to get a prescription has to be postponed. To this direction, the Greek government have improved the online prescription platform in order to produce paperless prescriptions with, te with text messages or email to our patients. The treatment plan for our patients with diabetes during this coronavirus crisis should target to keep the patients on the safe side, avoiding extreme situations like severe hypoglycemias or severe hyperglycemias that would require hospitalization. Patients with a diabetic foot should stay in close contact with the physician using the technology to reduce, if possible, the visits to the hospital and increase the self-care skills. We need to keep our patients as much as possible away from the hospitals in order to protect them from a possible infection. I urge the patients to stay at home as long as the pandemic lasts. They may assist the patient to use the online orders to get all necessary everyday needs, including medication, food, and general home supplies delivered to their home. Family members and caregivers should advise the patient to keep away from their grandchildren. Children may be asymptomatic carriers of the virus, but they may infect others. Caregivers may also assist the patients to apply all measurements to protect themselves, like frequent hand wash, the use of face masks, and the use of antiseptics. It is also necessary to urge the patients while staying at home to keep in touch with their, with their beloved ones. Using the technology, this is crucial for preserving their mental health. As this situation is still ongoing, we keep learning from this experience. In the future, we may need to enrich our everyday clinical practice in diabetes with more technology. Remote glucose management, software-based self-management apps, diabetic complication evaluation medical devices, and many more may help us in the future to manage our patients better, even from a long distance if required.